What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video today. Today we're talking silver, gold, or platinum. What's the best investment? What are my thoughts? So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, everybody. So today's topic, silver, gold, platinum. Which one's the best? Which one should you buy? Where should you be at in your stack? All that good stuff is going to go down in this video. So platinum beast, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Obviously my name is platinum beast. So I'm going to be a little biased, but I'm going to try to make this video with an open mindset and open thoughts and theories and things like that. So with that being said, as you can see, I have all three before me, right? And I stack all three in my own personal stack. I have silver, I have gold, I have platinum. But which one is the best to stack? Well, it varies greatly depending on where you're currently at, what your plans are, age, all different kinds of things, okay? Now, we'll start with the first one. Where are you at in your stack? Do you already have a healthy stack? Do you already have a little bit of a stack? What do you got? Okay. If you have a lot of silver, you might want to think about branching off into gold and platinum. If you have a lot of silver and a lot of gold, you definitely want to think about getting platinum. Okay. And so if you are one who decides that you don't really know that much about platinum and so you're hesitant to get into it, I'd say do your research. Watch where the price has gone over time and see if you're willing to risk a little bit of money into an alternate metal, okay? Because although platinum has been the worst performing in the recent history, it's not that it hasn't performed at all. It just has been very different than gold and silver and even palladium. And there's a multitude of reasons for that. But it's still a decent thing to have in a scenario where gold and silver might remain stagnant, but platinum might take off. And then you are still safe with your gold and silver, but you'll probably be sitting there wishing you had a little bit of platinum. So if you don't have any platinum, definitely pick up at least some at some point. Now, if you don't have any stack at all, right? I would definitely suggest starting out with silver, okay? Now, I know that being the platinum beast, it's like, what? Why would you not start out with platinum? Well, you could. However, platinum is an interesting metal in that it has a high industrial use and its price point has gone against the grain as far as the other metals are concerned. So what, what are my thoughts and opinions? Well, I think silver and gold are the safest bet. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I'm not going to be biased. I'm not going to say platinum is the safest bet. Put all your money in platinum. Even though I'm the platinum beast and I love the metal and I believe the most in it, I still think gold and silver are your safest bet. So if you don't have any stack at all or your stack's very, very small, stick to that gold and silver for a little while and just see where things go. If you really want to diversify yourself and cover yourself across all bases, I would suggest picking up all three at the same time, right? Because there's little pieces of gold you can get for not a high dollar amount. There's little pieces of platinum you can get for not a high dollar amount as well. And silver is already not high dollar at all. So you can get a one ounce silver for like 25 bucks. Very, very low cost of entry and not a bad place to be. So if you want to, just getting into stacking, you can get all three. Now, I mentioned age at the beginning of this video. Depending on where you are at age-wise could also depend on what you should stack. If you are an older gentleman or lady, you may want to consider just sticking to gold and silver because platinum is anybody's guess as to when it's going to take off. A lot of people, including myself, think it's going to be in the near future, but you can't really bank on that. And if your years are getting closer and closer to the high end, rather than the low end, you may want to just protect yourself and stick with gold and silver. You also probably have hopefully built up a little bit of wealth and you don't want to risk that on something like platinum not performing within just a few years. 
Now, I assume if you're up there in years, you probably have someone in mind or something in mind you want to leave your legacy and your stack and everything to, whether it be family, whether it be friends, whether it be something you care about, some organization or something. And so gold and silver would probably be the best bet because it's going to be the most liquid and it's going to be the most desirable amongst more people. So it's going to be much easier to move around and liquefy or what have you, right? So platinum is a very speculative metal and it's very different than gold and silver in my opinion. Now, a lot of it is similar, but a lot of it is different. If you take a look at the charts, you'll see what I'm talking about. And so I think that you should stick to gold and silver if you're up there in age. Now, if you're younger, platinum could be a very, very, very good play for you. And it could be almost the same as gold and silver. Because if you take a look at the charts and you go back 30 years, if you're 30 or under and you can stack platinum now and 30 years from now you still have that platinum, I don't, I don't really care who you are. It will increase in value. It's not going to stay at its price that it's been at forever, right? If you look at the history of the metal, it just hasn't done that. It, it is very similar to gold and silver in that aspect. However, there are large gaps where it does things completely opposite of gold and silver, where gold and silver kind of move along with each other a lot of the time, being different at certain times, a little bit here and there. But for the most part, they both just kind of climb with each other over time. A lot of people say silver is very undervalued, and that may very well be, but it's not so undervalued that it should be the same value as gold. That's just crazy. But they both go up in value over time, whereas platinum can go way up in value or way down in value or just sit at its constant value for a very long time. It moves very differently. However, if you're 30 or under, it might not be a bad investment to have. 40 or under, maybe as well. Things like that. So, as far as which one's the best, well, I'm the platinum beast and I'm stacking platinum real, real hard. I haven't picked up any gold and silver for a good few months now and that'll probably stay that way unless gold comes down a bit. I might pick up some gold. Silver has really been put on the back burner for me. I know a lot of people stack silver and love the metal, but I think I can just hold off on that one and just stick to the platinum because I just believe a little bit more in that metal. So that's my thoughts and opinions on gold and silver and platinum and what I believe is the best overall, depending on certain factors. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. I appreciate y'all for checking out the video today. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date future updates on the Platinum Beast channel. With all that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all.